media can we use to boot a system today, and how do we create it? IBM has a free application called Bootable Media Creator that you can use to create bootable media that enables you to update server firmware, run diagnostics, and deploy operating systems on all your IBM System X and Blade Center servers. Let's have a demonstration. This is Charles. Charles will be showing you how easy it is to use this free application. Say hello, Charles. Uh, hi. Where am I? Are you from another planet? No, Charles. I'm from System X Education. Will you help me demonstrate the Bootable Media Creator tool? Sure, that sounds like fun. What's a Bootable Media Creator? You'll see. The Bootable Media Creator is available from the IBM System X Tool Center website. To locate the IBM System X Tool Center on the web, you can either search for Tool Center on the IBM website or for IBM Tool Center from any search engine. Okay, I found the Tool Center website. I click the Bootable Media Creator link in the deployment section? Correct. Now click and download the executable appropriate for the laptop's operating system. It's downloading, so what can I do with the Bootable Media Creator? Using IBM Tool Center Bootable Media Creator, you can create a single bootable image on supported media, such as a CD, a DVD, an ISO image that can be used to burn a CD or DVD, a USB memory key, or a set of PXE files. The created image bundles multiple IBM System X and Blade Center tools and updates from Update Express system packs, which contain Windows and Linux firmware and device driver updates. You can also create an IBM Server Guide setup in and installation CD for deploying Windows operating systems and updates on supported systems. That sounds great. Where does it get all these system update files? IBM Tool Center Bootable Media Creator can acquire the latest bootable environment, Update Express system pack, individual updates, and IBM Preboot Dynamic Systems Analysis from the local system or download these code elements and IBM Server Guide from the IBM website. It is a straightforward process that you will be demonstrating right now. Now? I don't know how to do that. You'll be fine. Let us suppose your company just received a new IBM System X server and you would like to update the machine's firmware before you deploy an operating system. Using Bootable Media Creator, you can create a bootable USB memory key that will do just that. Okay, where do I start? By the way, the Bootable Media Creator application is finished downloading. Now, this is very important. Make certain you have inserted the USB memory key before you start the Bootable Media Creator application. The Bootable Media Creator will only recognize the memory key at application startup. If you insert the memory key later on, it will not be recognized and will not be selectable. Done. The laptop says the key has been recognized. Start the application as you would any other, and after accepting the license agreement, you will come to the welcome screen, where you can provide a name for the media you are about to create. Since you just downloaded the tool, there is not a previously saved configuration or a need to check for the latest tool version, so you can click Next to continue the process. Got it. I'm naming the key X5 Demonstration and clicking Next. Good. Now we choose the purpose of the media, which are updates, diagnostics, operating system deployment, or a combination of all three. For this demonstration, we just want to perform firmware updates, so just select Updates. You can also select Enable Task Auto Run so the USB key will boot and start the update process automatically. All right, updates are selected and Enable Task Auto Run is checked. Clicking Next brings us to the Acquire Location screen. If you choose Check the IBM Website, you can either select Update Express System Packs, which contain an integration tested bundle of firmware updates for each System X or Blade Center server, or select the latest individual updates which are the latest released code elements and may be a later level than what has been bundled in the system pack. Since this is a brand new system, you will be choosing to download the latest individual updates. Latest individual updates is selected. What's the local directory text box for? You can select a local directory as the acquire site if you have previously created a local repository of files to place on the key. Since you did not do that, you will be downloading from the IBM website. I understand. I've clicked Next and have come to the HTTP proxy screen. If your company requires an HTTP proxy to connect to the internet from your intranet, you would enter the required information on this screen. 
You do not require a proxy to connect from this location, so you can just click Next to continue the process. It is now time to select the targeted systems. We are going to select just the System X 3850X5 machine type 7146. You can, however, select multiple system machine types and place all the update files on a single bootable memory key. You can then use this one memory key to update all your IBM System X machines, an efficient and straightforward way to manage system code maintenance. I can select more than one machine and the key will be built to update all the machines I select? Wow, this bootable media crea creator is really useful. Thank you, Charles. I'm so glad you think so. After you have selected all the appropriate machine types, clicking Next brings you to the Target Directory screen. You can indicate a specific temporary directory for the downloaded files on your laptop. The default is the directory the application was executed from, which is sufficient for this demonstration. You can just click Next to continue. It's time to select the media device. I assume I'm going to select the USB key I've inserted. Bootable Media Creator supports CD, DVD, USB memory keys, and PXE file formats. You are correct. Select the USB memory key device, which is Drive E on that laptop. You also want to select Write Directly to Device. If you instead select CD or DVD and Write to Image File, you can specify an image file name that will be used to generate multiple physical media. We don't need an image file as we are only creating one key. Wow, writing an image file can be really useful. I could then send an image by FTP or email for somebody to use, instead of hoping they select the same files I do. You are entirely correct, Charles. Creating image files for company-wide use keeps all your SystemX machines at consistent firmware levels. When you click Next to continue, you now choose the unattended mode configuration. As the help on this screen states, if you select Use Unattended Mode, you can choose where the update log files will be created and stored during the update process and have the updates run without user intervention. As you only have one system to update, go ahead and select Do Not Use Unattended Mode. Got it. Click Next to continue? Yes. Clicking Next takes us to the confirmation screen where you can validate all the choices you have made before you actually begin to create the bootable image on the key. You can also save this configuration for later use by clicking the Save button and specifying a configuration file name. You can use this configuration file in the future by loading it at the initial bootable media creator welcome screen. This can save much time and effort during your normal system maintenance windows. Okay, everything looks proper. When I click Next, it'll create the bootable USB key? Yes, clicking Next starts the creation process. Since we selected to download the latest updates from the IBM website, there may be several individual files to download and process. Depending on the bandwidth of your internet connection, this portion of the process may persist for an extended period of time. Remain patient though, this small hindrance is well worth the effort. Immediately after all the files have been acquired, the files are written to the selected bootable media. Since we are creating a bootable USB key, the key is first formatted before the bootable environment is built and all the files are copied. When the process is completed, a message stating success is posted prominently on the screen. You can now eject or unmount the USB key and use it on the intended systems. Be aware that you may need to alter the boot sequence of the target system to include the bootable USB key. This is easily done during system power on by pressing the F12 key at the appropriate time. Hey, look at that. The screen says the creation of the USB key is successful. I must say, I was a little nervous about doing this, but it was very easy. Can I take this key and try it? Certainly. I happen to know where a System X 3850X5 is located that needs updating. Grab your coffee cup and I'll send you to it now. I can't believe I just met someone from another planet. This concludes the demonstration of using the bootable media creator to manage and update your System X server's firmware. For further information, read the IBM Tool Center Bootable Media Creator Installation and Users Guide available on the Tool Center website. It provides a wealth of knowledge on functions and limitations of the Bootable Media Creator, including how to use the same application directly from the command line. The IBM System X Tool Center Bootable Media Creator. Use it today to help manage all of your system update, deployment, and diagnostic needs.